update on the seeds that I planted about two weeks ago. I want to show you what's happening with the very first seedlings that I sowed indoors and what I'm doing with them now to help them along their merry little way. In that round, I planted some asparagus, uh, various onions, some leeks, uh, a little bit of broccoli, and some cabbage. And I put them under grow lights where they all sprouted. I had excellent germination, which was tremendous. Now that they're all up and they are yet to get their true leaves, and the weather is relatively mild, meaning it's in the 50s right now, I'm putting them outside to begin to get acclimated to the sun and the wind and things like that will help them. I'll show you. These are just on a little roof of a bay window that bumps out um, in, my, in my townhouse. And um, yeah, things are doing really, really, really well. First up, these are the onions that were planted. You can see with this one right here, it's beginning to get its first true leaf. And so these are doing fantastically well. I see I've got one that's keeled over there. Um, but they are just gonna grow along. I might thin them a little bit, um, but this is their first exposure to sunlight. I'm gonna leave them out here for about 40 minutes today and then gradually lengthen the time. This I'm really pleased about. These are the artichokes and we had excellent, excellent germination. You can see these are, this one is starting to get its first true leaves and I'm gonna actually be separating these probably in the next day, maybe later today even, because they're just gonna need more room. I had no idea I would get such excellent germination on these, but I am not complaining. In the back, here are some leeks and we've got some parsley here. I believe that this is the sage and the echinacea is here in the front. And you can see on these echinacea, this little guy is starting to get its first true leaf. So that's fantastic. Over on the other side, I've got some broccoli and some cabbage. This is some early Jersey, uh, early Charleston Wake Hill cabbage. I will be definitely thinning these guys out. This was a fantastic germination on these and I've definitely got to thin those out so that they can grow on. And over here, this is the asparagus. So this just germinated in the last couple days and they're still popping up in here. Over here, these are more leeks that I planted. So all in all, these plants are doing really well and I think they're gonna greatly benefit from being acclimated out here. These are all cool season crops. They can take a frost actually, um, although I'm not gonna leave them out here overnight. Um, the artichokes have to get chill hours in. And so I started putting them outside uh, a couple days ago and hopefully I can get them to the point where they will, um, it'll, it'll prompt the hormone that will enable it to flower this year. Uh, so let's see if that works. Truly, truly happy about this artichoke situation. These plants I've actually started in my city house and I'll be transporting them down to Virginia uh, for permanent relocation this season um, in a couple days. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And I hope you'll stick around and see how these things come along. I'll be giving you updates on all my plantings and seedlings and experiments as well as my uh, whole garden season. Thank you so much for watching. I hope